Well, so with this video, we're gonna show you guys how to test a spill resistant vacuum breaker ASSC 1056 using the ASSC 5000 series test procedures. Um, there are test procedures using three hoses and three valve kits, um, but today we're gonna be using the one hose version. It came out in like 2015 in their uh, new handbook. And then we're gonna be using a two valve test kit, the Kruger Instruments TK2. And so we need the test kit, one hose, test adapters if you need them. Um, a lot of the uh, test cocks that you're gonna see in the field are gonna be uh, like a quarter turn using a, fill a flat head screwdriver. We actually have one with a, uh, it's, it's like a ball valve style. Um, they're use, used mostly for like our, uh, our classes and things, it makes it a little easier. You are also gonna need either a um, Phillips or flat head screwdriver or sometimes a uh, crescent wrench, depending on how it's set up. But most of these things, I think usually use a Phillips head screwdriver to take the canopy off and to open and close the bleed screw. And then um, that's all you really need for this test. So let's get started. Uh, first thing is open the test cock and then close it to flush the test cocks. You loosen the vent screw and then also close it to flush the vent screw. Attach test kit. So first off, the test kit has to be centered at test cock one for all tests. Close high and valve, close all the needle valves on your test kit. And then you open the high bleed valve. Attach high hose to the test kit and to test cock one. Open test cock one. Close high bleed. Tightness of check valve or shutoff valves is the first test. Close shutoff valve two. Close shutoff valve one. And then you just remove, so you remember the kit has to be level with this, with the test cock one. And then you open the, and remove the bleed screw. See the pressure going down. So that's the differential pressure across the check valve is about 3.8. Has to be at least one. Next test number two, remove air inlet canopy. open high lead and then you record when the air inlet opens so I felt it open about two so those are the two tests 3.8 for test cock for check off one and then um, 2.0 for uh, the air inlet valve. Cool. And then you want to record the, or restore the system, remove all of your equipment. Um, you know, replace the bleed screw. Close the test cock. Open shutoff valve one. Open shutoff valve two, and then replace the canopy. 